So guys, you can choose either Google Chrome or Safari. So I'm gonna use Safari. Then go to the website, passport.gov.ph. No appointment is needed for the following. OFW with sufficient proof of status. Senior citizen with senior citizen ID. Person with disability with PWD ID. Solo parent with valid solo parent ID. Pregnant woman with medical certificate and minor 7 years old and below. Click OK. At the left side, you can see three lines. So go to schedule an appointment. Start appointment. So there you go. After reading everything, the terms and conditions, click the small box. I have read and understood the instructions. So if you're by group, you can select start group appointment. And for this video, I'm going to select individual appointment. Please be reminded that any incorrect information that is inputted in this application form may result to delay. So make sure guys, we are filling out the correct information, our personal information. And then the site location, so I live here in Cebu. So for Cebu, there are two sites that you can choose from, Pacific Mall or SMC site. Click next. So this is the availability dates. For example, on the 14th. And by the way, guys, all passport applications processed on Saturdays are charged 1,200. And ito naman yung mga time. Time slots. Earliest time is around 9 in the morning up until 10. 10 to 11, 11 to, 11 to 12 noon, up until 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So, click next. So, ito na yung application form, guys. So, I'm not gonna fill out because I already have my passport. This is just an example. So, after filling out everything, after filling out successfully, you will then receive an email notification. So, ito yan. Ito na yan, guys. DFA Passport Appointment Payment Reference. Please pay the amount of 950 pesos. 950 for regular processing. And if you want 6 days, 6 working days, that's 1,200. So you have to take note for the reference number and click view my payment instruction. Pay in cash at Bayad Center branches. Pwede rin naman sa 7-Eleven or LBC. Sa akin guys, I paid it through GCash. There you go. I use Gcash and by the way guys you have to pay a total amount of 1,000 pesos 50 pesos for the convenience fee so a total of 1,000 pesos after you after you successfully paid the 1,000 pesos you will receive um, passport appointment system confirmation notification so you have successfully confirmed your passport appointment scroll down guys because you need to download the form so this is the form you have to print this out so ito yung important reminders Step 1. Have your appointment verified at the verification section, blah, blah, blah. Just read everything here from step 1 to step 4. So, ito na yung passport application form. 
and the electronic receipt number. So guys, what are the passport requirements? Just Google it. Passport requirements. Then yung pinakauna na ibibigay ni Google, click on it. Consular.dfa.gov.ph So everything is here. Passport requirements for adult new applicants. So for adult applicants 18 years old and above, you can refer these links. So say for example, this is your first time, click adult new. Scroll down. So these are the core requirements. First guys, confirmed online appointment. Click here. So ito yung ginawa natin kanina, schedule of appointment. So we're done with this. Second is... personal appearance third is accomplished application form click here for blank application form so you have to print this out this is for new regular passport application so ito yun guys print nyo lang to then fill out and then original photocopy of your birth certificate it should be the NSO original and photocopy so if you're married adult so just refer here this bullets married females who are using their spouse last name uh, must also present original and submit a photocopy and also local civil register copy is required if PSA birth certificate is not clear or cannot be read. And the number five requirement is any of the following acceptable IDs. So what are the acceptable IDs guys? So just click here for the list. Scroll down. So. Here are the list of acceptable IDs. Any of the following with one photocopy. So yung SSS card natin. GSIS. UMID. Driver's license. Or if student ka pa, student permit, student permit may be accepted if in card format. So there you go. And then PRC ID, OWA e card, and then voters ID, senior citizen ID, airman license, Philippine postal ID, and etc. Just refer here, guys. So those are the fifth requirement if you are adult new so th that's it guys one two three four five so as simple as that and then for supporting documents so just read it here in my case guys i just renewed my passport so it's madali lang siya i just photocopied my old passport front and back that's it and then, for those peps na adult lost passport and travel documents, click nyo lang to, then follow the step.